Uh, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we've got an unboxing of Bunt cycling shoes. Size 44, US 9.5, and the model is the Riot Row Plus. These are the lime and charcoal version. So opening up the box, we have shoes in the bag. And it looks like there's something else in there. It's a bump cycling little drawstring bag. That's all that's in the box. Let's have a look at them. Okay, here's the shoes straight out of the box. Um, I'll just take one and we'll have a look at it. So we'll spin it round. Looks nice. Um, there's a little former in the front there. Okay, so we've got a nice sole. Now that's a heck of a grid, isn't it? I've not seen a grid like that before. Uh, carbon composite sole. Squeeze them round. That, that carbon comes up, up to there. I'm very impressed. They feel quite sturdy. They've got a bower closure. And a Velcro. Nice. Let me just put this down and then we'll crack on. So, my first pair of bunts. Uh, that's what's in the inside, a little former there. Oh, and there's something else in there too. Um, and there's a cleat screws. By the looks of it. So, we'll put them aside. Um, that is a fat foot. I've got quite a wide feet, that's why I've chosen the plus version. Um, that's why I went for these. Very nice. Liking uh, that. Let's have a close up. So, uh, bunt cycling. We'll go around the heel first. Look at that. That's um, quite distinguishable. Look, well, it's no material, it's just that carbon that composite. So we'll come up. There's the bower. Bower closure there, the Velcro. We've got riot on the Velcro strap. Um, some air ports there, some airflow, some holes across the top. I think that's a bunt logo. Not sure what that is. Some more um, mesh holes, some more breather holes on the side. Let's have a look at this grid because that is interesting. I've not seen a grid like that before. Wow, that's impressive. And it doesn't look like it's in the middle of the shear. It looks like it's offset, see? So it's more towards your big toe. Because the middle of the shoe is like there, isn't it? So it's offset a little bit. And this is just my first look, because I've never seen uh, these kind of shoes before. It looks like that is removable or replaceable. I'm not sure if the front one is. Looks like it's stuck on. Um, very interesting. Let's have a look, see if we can... So you pull up the barrel to release it. What have we got in here? Just a tongue with riot on it. And the actual sizing is Europe 44, USA 9.5 and 275 mil. Now, what's quite interesting is Using the size guide on Wiggle, which is where I got these from, I'm not sponsored by Wiggle, you can get them wherever you like. Um, the size guide came out me as a 43. Um, I did get the 43, but I found my toes were right at the end. Right at the end. And I thought, that's not going to be very comfortable. The width wise was good, the length. So I went up a size. And as you can see, just inside the tongue there was um, 275 mil. It's actually stamped in there as well. 
which is the the um, which was my longest foot measurement, two seven five. So I think the size guide is slightly wrong on the Wiggle website. Um, that's my opinion. I could be wrong, but life's all about opinions. So those are looking good. They're very soft. Um, Um, but that bath, I mean, that comes up really high. Look, that carbon, that's really high. That's the highest thing I've seen. Sorry if I sound a bit amazed, but I'm not used to shoes like this. Um, look how high it is. Wow, that's a different way of making shoes. I'm actually going to pair these with yellow um, SPDSL Shimano cleats. Uh, I am just looking at them rather than talking, sorry. Uh, very good. I'm liking the look of those. Let's see what's in the other one. Let's just push this one off. Again, we've got um, six, one, two, three, five, six cleat bolts, spare parts, it says. Thank you very much. Again, a cardboard insert, a shaper, size 44, as you can see. And um, these are the same. Yep, a little bit of a thread loose there, but um, that's not too problem, not too much of a problem anyway. Um, all right, let's get these things weighed, and then I'll put them on and I'll give you my first thoughts. Okay, back. I've got the... Uh, uh, scales that we always use. Let's zero them off. Okay, we're going to put so one shoe is 304 grams, the other one is 308 grams. Interesting. I don't think I've left anything in the right shoe. Right, I'm going to put them on and we'll see what it's like. Okay, I'm putting you down at the floor. Um, these aren't cycling socks, they're actually uh, my work socks. And they're thicker than a normal office sock, I would say. Not as thick as a winter sock, though. But um, first impression, having got them on, I've never felt a pair of more comfortable cycling shoes in my life. Um, just feeling where I can feel a bit of tightness. The only place I can feel anything is right about here. That one is perfect. Toe is about there. No. Yeah, about, about there. So I've got a little bit of room. Toe on this one is there. Why can't other companies design shoes like this? I've come from Shimano when from Shimano shoes. And I've always found them too tight, even their wide ones. But these oh my, I've never felt a pair of more comfortable shoes. And you can mould these as well. If I go over, you can see the there's a different, the black bit is different on the front. From the top, you it looks as though it comes more up on this shoe. Um, that's about the only thing I can say about them. Apart from, I would highly recommend these shoes. I haven't even ridden in them, but I can tell these are going to be great. I can just tell. Um, I don't know if I'll mould them. To start with, I'll probably just wear them as uh, as they are and then i may mold them just to get that good fit but straight out of the box the most comfortable shoes i've ever worn in my life for cycling you know i've worn some trainers that are comfy but we're not on about trainers so um that is the end of a little look round review and uh, my thoughts on the Bunt Right Road Plus 
cycling shoe. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you want more videos. Or if you don't, still like and subscribe because that'll be cool. See you later. Bye.